You're watching the Northeastern News Program that keeps you up to date, aware, and informed on all things related to Northeastern High School. This is High Street Morning News. Good morning, Northeastern. Today is Tuesday, May 15th, 2018, Cycle Day 3. I'm Morgan Reynolds. And I'm Emma Sadowski. Let's get to our announcements. Attention freshmen, go to the link posted on Schoology today and vote for your 2018-2019 class senators. Please select the students you think will best demonstrate commitment, hard work, and school spirit. Student senators are in charge of organizing Homecoming, Minithon, the Student Talent Show, raising money for charities, and much more. If you borrowed a calculator from the office and are not using it, please return it to the office so that students taking the Keystone test can borrow them. Thank you. An admissions rep from Hack will be in the College and Career Center this Thursday, May 17th from 9 to 11. Any student interested in playing football next season should stop by the boys' locker room and see Mr. Schapansky. Any student who had ceramics with Ms. Gaynor this year and left their projects in her room for the art show can now pick up their work. Please pick them up by this Friday or they may not be around after that. Also, if you painted a ceramic figurine during Minithon and have not picked it up yet, Please do so before Friday of this week. They can be found in Ms. Shedden's classroom. The Spring Sports Award Ceremony is coming up this week. Let's send it down to Isha to get some more info. What's up? Hey guys, so I'm down here with Mr. Collar to talk about the Spring Sports Ceremony. So Mr. Collar, when is the Spring Sports Ceremony? Uh, it is this Thursday night, uh, May 17th, in the high school auditorium from 6 to 8. And what's the biggest highlight for you to be there? Um, I get to enjoy all the seasonal sports assemblies. Uh, the fun part is to introduce the kids on the team and talk about our uh, season accomplishments and seeing the other sports um, athletes and coaches too. Okay, and what's the what are some highlights of spring sports that have happened so far? Uh, I think the uh, just overall the teams are pretty successful. Uh, baseball and uh, softball had uh, good seasons, solid seasons. Tennis went to uh, uh, districts and they had some individuals do really well, so congrats to them. Uh, in track this year, uh, we are still competing. We have uh, several um, athletes going to Shippensburg this weekend for districts. Uh, we have county champions. Um, uh, DJ Hamilton was a county champion. Maddie Warrender was a county champion. Trinity Shroudner was a county champion. Uh, all of them are moving ahead to districts and uh, hopefully states. And that's big for us. So if you're a spring sports athlete, make sure you come down to the ceremony. Let's take it back to the desk. Thank you, Isha. Now let's send it over to sports. Good morning, Northeastern. Yesterday, the softball team battled hard against an undefeated Kenner Dale team, but unfortunately came out on the short side. The volleyball team played Dallas Town yesterday evening for the semifinals. Our guys won in just three sets. Since they won last night, the team now faces Central tonight. Play hard and show the same energy as last Thursday. Now for lunch. Today's lunch will be grilled cheese or ham and cheese sandwich on pretzel roll. Tomorrow's breakfast will be breakfast pizza. Tomorrow's lunch will be homemade stromboli with marinara sauce. Let's send it over to weather. So right now it's pretty warm, 73 degrees, feels like 74, uh, humidity is making it a little bit warmer out there. We are looking at a little bit of clouds, but not much, and the wind is only 4 miles per hour. Let's take it to the 5 day. Throughout the week, it's still going to be rain and thunderstorms. Temperatures are going to be dropping once we hit the weekend, but then they're going to rise again and get super warm. We'll be right back after this. Hi, my name is Amara Bidding. I'm going to Wingate University in North Carolina. It's eight hours away, and I'm going to be majoring in nursing. I chose this college because they gave me $114,000, so it was cheaper compared to all the other ones, and it's kind of where I want to live. I want to live in North Carolina, so that's another reason why I chose this school. My favorite thing about Wingate is the atmosphere because all the people are so friendly and they make me feel really welcomed and it was like family. And I would like to thank my mom because she always pushed me to follow my dreams and she pushed me to get outside my comfort zone and I think that's something that 
every high schooler kind of needs. Hi guys, I'm Maddie Noki and I'm here with Gabby Versace to recap on our school's mini-thon that took place Friday and Saturday. So Gabby, how did mini-thon go? It went great. Um, everything ran well and the students seemed to have a really good time. So how many people attended? We had about 380 high schoolers and 13 middle schoolers, so we were really happy with the turnout. And with that being said, was there like any special guests during like family hour or anything? Well, we had a couple of families from the Four Diamonds visit us and talk to us about their experience with Four Diamonds and pediatric cancer as a family. What were the popular activities during Minithon? A lot of people liked the raves and we had the dodgeball tournament around 345. We did also have like the paint nights, which a lot of people enjoyed that. And since this was a 12 hour dance, how like how tired were people at the end? At first it was fine, but by the end you could tell everyone was really tired and just ready for it to be over so you could go home and sleep. Um, what was our goal this year? This year our goal was set at $60,000. And did we beat that goal? This year we did, yeah. We got a total of $89,562, so we were super happy with that outcome. Um, when will our school have another mini-thon? Mini-thons are every two years, so our next one will be 2020. Um, we know that you ran for head for the mini-thon, so what made you want to run? Well, I've been in Senate since I was in middle school, and I really enjoy planning events, and especially mini-thon because it's for such a great cause, Kids with Cancer. It just really inspired me to do that. And since you were head, did you come like across many challenging tasks during mini-thon? Um, well, I worked with Alexis Maffa as co-head, so sometimes we would have our differences, but we still worked together and everything was fine in the end. And what did you learn, like what was the main thing you pulled together from being head? Mainly I learned about leadership and how to keep composure in stressful situations and to work with everyone as a team. Alrighty, well thank you Gabby for joining us today. That's all we have, Northeastern, and stay classy. <laughs>